Okay, so we are now on step three. And what we're going to do is we're going to download the file that we're going to work on. Uh, just in case uh, you weren't too aware, you can uh, get to it. This is all in the Photoshop online course. And we're currently in lesson two. You can get to this folder by going to bit.ly backslash bchs photoshop1 and we open up lesson 2 and you download the O2 start right there. I've downloaded it already and there it is. Good. Oh, you, did you notice that mine opened in preview when I double clicked on it? And the reason why it did is because I actually have it set up for my TIFFs to open in preview. So there's two different ways to open it in Photoshop. Number one, you can right click or control click and say open with Photoshop. And you pick the correct one, 2020. Or the other thing that you can do is you can drag and drop it down into this one right here. And it opens in Photoshop. Great. Um, if you want all of your uh, all of your uh, windows and tools and everything to be looking the same, you can go to Workspace and re uh, pick Essentials and then Reset Essentials. Now everybody's Workspace looks the same. Okay, so what are we going to do here first? Well, you can see that we've scanned this picture. And we're going to, first of all, we're going to save it as our working file. So pick Save As, call it O2 Working. And I want you to save it into your Photoshop One folder. Photoshop One, the one that you have saved uh, or shared with me on your Google Drive. We hit save. And because it's a TIFF file, we have all these different options. Don't worry about them. Just say OK. And there we go. Now it's called working. So if everything messes up, then go back to the start one that you have uh, downloaded. It's in your downloads folder. First, we're going to crop this. And so hit the letter C. And you'll notice you get the cropping tool. And I want you to pick W and H times resolution. That's width times height times resol uh, resolution. I want you to type 7 IN for inches by 7 IN for inches and make it 200 pixels per square inch. Need to change that. There we go. Good. Next, we're going to hit the straighten button. And actually, you need to get out of that. First, there we go, and we hit the straighten button, and well, by the way, I got out of that by just hitting the tab key. It was uh, sometimes every once in a while you you gets a little bit uh, locked in there. You might not even have to hit the tab key. Anyway, I know that I have the straighten tool because you'll see right here that it's got the little level, and I'm just going to click and drag across this line right here. Clicking, dragging, holding it exactly there, and it straightens it out. Now we're going to get rid of this uh, white uh, this white border right here like that. And we're going to bring this in. And the other side, we're going to bring it in. Bottom, we'll bring up a bit. Now, if you're noticing that it's snapping into place in a way that you don't really like, then one of the things that you can do is you can actually get rid of that or stop it by going under view and selecting snap. There's also some other options of what you want it to snap to. And if you have the snap undone, that makes it a lot more smooth to move around. And sometimes you want that. Other times, actually, you want things to lock into place. Okay, I think I've got that. I'm going to hit return. Nice. There it is. Okay. And then I want you to go up to file and pick save. And we'll save what you've done. You can go on to the next video.